All right, today's video is about a new postal registered lock I just got. This is the one. It's in pretty bad shape. I've already done a little bit of polishing on it, but it's going to take a while. And this is an older one. You can tell because it's got that star stamped on the shackle right there. And it's got the window guard around the numbers. And one thing I've already done, it only took about two minutes, is to replace the glass. It's actually a piece of plastic that slides, slides right in at that end. Slides right out. I put a new piece of plastic for that window. It looks a lot better. So this is at 146. I've already opened it once. I have no idea what the H or the numbers signify. I know there's a lot of these. But first thing I do is use this 3-in-1 lock dry lube. Just squirt it in there. And around the pivot. But this one, I should be able to get some polish on it. I should be able to get it to look like that using a Dremel. This is also an old one with a window guard. Now the newer ones don't have the window guard like this one. You can see there's no window guard there. It also does not have the star stamped on the shackle. So this is a new one, this is an old one. These old ones are, are uh, built a lot better. They have brass uh, wheels inside. Now let's see if we can get this thing open. I do have a key, but I'm going to try the old-fashioned uh, with a pick and a turning tool just turn it in there or put it in there now the pins on this thing are way down here at this side at this end so the pick I'm using you can see how far I have to put it in I have to put it in that far to get it started on the the pins and this is a really nice, I'm surprised how nice this one is. I'm just going to go in there, push down on whatever, whatever is I feel, whatever I feel in there with light pressure. Okay, let's turn that turning tool around a little bit. Try it again. There we go. Okay, there is the lock and it is open. You can see it took quite a bit to get it open, but it's it's open nonetheless. And that went from well, it went from 146, and it's going to go to 147. So yeah, it went from 146 to 147. And these things have nine. Uh, let's see, nine, I think it's 9,999 turns on them. So I can play with this for quite a while. So that is the new old postal lock. Oh, and I do have a key for it. This key. And you have to get that thing in all the way as far as you can. Yeah. Oh, got it a little far. Okay, you can see how far I had to put it in. And this thing works really nice with the key. And how much do these... These things are pretty heavy. I'm going to see if we can get a read on how heavy these things are. 
And these brass locks get it thrown around quite a bit. You can see by the dents, a lot of dents in them. When they're not in use, they get thrown into a bag that holds probably 50 or 100 of these. So this thing weighs, let's see if it weighs in at, it looks like 9.4 ounces. Yeah, 9.4 ounces. So it's quite a good, good sized lock. And that is a new postal lock added to my collection of about, I think I probably have 15 by now. They're all fun to play around with. And they definitely deserve a little cowbell. Knuckle bump.